Tonight on CBS 19 News at 10, understanding your breast cancer risk. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and in a special fit city, Dana shows us how diet and exercise can impact a person's risk for the disease. That's tonight at 10. Now on to this morning's top stories. Good morning and thank you for joining us for the CBS 19 This Morning Update. I'm Dana Huey. And I'm Clint Yates. Dallas hospitals aren't the only places preparing for Ebola. Yeah, the CDC is encouraging hospitals around the country to have a plan in place, including those right here in East Texas. Doctors at Smith County Hospitals have been in meetings over the past few days, getting briefed on the proper procedures to handle Ebola. The three phases are detection, preparation, and response. Dr. William Moore with ETMC EMS says the most important question dispatchers and nurses need to ask patients is if the person has traveled overseas in the last month. We are prepared as much as you can be now, and we're becoming more prepared each day as we learn more about it, and, and we respond by, by training, and that's kind of what we do. Dr. Moore says ETMC is continuously working to fine-tune policies for infectious diseases. Pine Tree ISD is saying police could soon be releasing some disturbing details about Monday's threat against the school. Pine Tree senior Christopher Jones is charged with making a terroristic threat. Police say he admitted to threatening to shoot up the school. He is now out of jail. We'll let you know some of those details when they become available. Suddenly, subscribers will notice a few new channels in their TV lineup, and quite a few favorites will be missing. The cable provider has added about 20 new channels to its basic and digital plans after failing to reach an agreement with Viacom. The companies have created websites blaming each other for negotiations falling through. Viacom provides channels like Nickelodeon, MTV, and Comedy Central, which will no longer be available to Suddenlink customers. For a look at Suddenlink's new lineup, head to cbs19.tv and click on the hot button. Well, a big change in our weather is headed our way right now. Yeah, Scott Fossey is keeping an eye on things for us. Let's check in. Clinton Dana, the risk for severe weather, at least a slight risk, still exists across the East Texas area, especially the latter part of the day today. And as we go into the evening and overnight hours tonight, our rain chances all peg them at about a 20% chance noon on. And then starting around dinner time tonight, they go way up 60% chance. And by 8 o'clock tonight, all the way up to about an 80% chance. We'll hold that 80% chance for rain and some strong to isolated severe thunderstorms into the wee morning hours tomorrow morning, right around 1 a.m., 2 a.m. Then the front should push east of us and south east east of us off into west central sections of Louisiana. It's going to be another warm one today unseasonably so muggy as well. Dew points are high. Sunshine comes out adds to the instability factor around the region this afternoon. So as the front approaches Dallas Fort Worth around five o'clock this evening you'll see rain and thunderstorms billowing up to our west. We'll see them moving across the east Texas area between about seven o'clock and 1 a.m. 7 p.m. and 1 a.m. tomorrow morning and there is a slight risk for severe weather with those 81 and cooler though your high tomorrow. Thanks, Scott, for the very latest all day long. Go to our website, cbs19.tv or tylerpaper.com. Then tune in later today for CBS 19 News at 5, 6, and 10. We hope you have a great day.